These are hugs that shouldn't be happening. An early morning reunion. Bill Peterson, a big time GE manager, giving big time thanks to co workers at the company's Evendale plant. Just a few of the many people who touched a life that day, March 26th, 2018. They told me that I had what they would call the Widowmaker heart attack, which has a very low survival rate. Um, and it was total blockage. And as I said, I didn't remember anything. I don't remember going to work. It happened so fast. A 58-year-old man in above average shape, oh so close to saying goodbye forever. I saw Bill, you know, laying on his back in his cube, flat out on his back and struggling to breathe. And GE employee Greg Olson knows CPR. Instincts take over. I jumped down by his side and, you know, loosened his collar up a little bit and took a, you know, tried to find a pulse, you know, on his neck and couldn't feel anything. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, it was kind of scary. Another GE worker, Todd Fisher, tries to help too. They start chest compressions. Bill was in cardiac arrest. Now a major uphill climb to survive. He needed a minor miracle, and that's what he got. Within probably three or four minutes of us calling 911, there was probably 10 or more people around him, trained people around him, working on him and helping him. So by far the, the luckiest day of his life. General Electric first responders were there right away, and Bill's run of good fortune got even better. A team from the nearby Evendale Fire Department was actually at the GE facility taking a tour, so they didn't have far to go. We had to use a defibrillator four times, deliver four different shocks. Firefighter Josh Asbach says that Bill wasn't breathing and didn't have a pulse until that fourth shock. Bill was transported to a nearby medical center, then air cared to Christ Hospital. Dr. Timothy Smith was waiting for him. Suddenly, there was hope, but still a long way to go. A big trouble. I mean, just to get him in, have the CPR going, active arrest. I mean, the survival from that's really 2 to 3 percent if you're very fortunate, and that's under the best of medical circumstances. But thanks to Dr. Smith and the finely tuned team working under Chief of Cardiology, Dr. Eugene Chung, things started turning around. We met him in the cath lab and moved toward an, an ECMO circuit, which is sort of a, a sustained uh, uh, life support circuit outside the body that circulates blood for both the heart and the lungs. Uh, so we actually brought him into the cath lab while doing CPR and uh, put him on circuit in the cath lab at that time. Finally, Bill Peterson is out of the woods, giving him another chance at life and a chance at this reunion two months after what could have been the last day of his life. I can't say thank you enough. I'm, I'm humbled. Um, I'm eternally grateful um, that I'm standing here today. And I think without you guys and without the technology and your teams, your teams that took care of me, I wouldn't be here today. And Teamwork, eternally... luck, and a resilient patient. It was a winning combination from Bill's coworkers. All I did was help him out. He was the one fighting. He was the one that was, I could tell that there was fight in him. He was, he was really, you know, trying to stay alive. I got to say it was one of the greatest moments of my life is to see someone that you, you, you tried to help um, still here and, and look as, as well as he does. To the first responders and doctors. Oh, it feels great. It makes you feel warm all over. It makes you feel like all the years, the days, the nights and weekends and sacrifices are worth it. Uh, you watch a family reunite and watch, watch a dad restored to, to his home. To Bill himself, who didn't let go. And now he wants to leave us with a word of warning. It can happen to anyone, so never take your health or the other important things in life for granted. I was on cholesterol medication, the highest dosage. I had a stress test in September. Mm -hmm. I aced the stress test, and they said even that, there's no guarantee um, because of the history of my family. Um, and it just goes to show you, you never know. Say I love you when you get a chance. You never know, as Bill says. Uh, after he gets back to full strength, by the way, he does plan to take a CPR course. Between his coworkers, the first responders, and doctors, he says CPR saved his life. He wants to be ready someday to do the same for somebody else. And he's hoping that everybody watching right now will think about learning CPR too.